Kia ora, welcome to Bust As. Today I'm going to make up some battery leads and I'm going to do so by making my own cable lugs or whatever you call them, the ends on the cables um, again out of the same copper pipe So I've got a bit more pipe and I'm cutting some pieces off of it Each piece I have cut off is about 50 mils long. So then I stick a socket up the middle of it and clamp it in the vise. It's about halfway down, so maybe 25 mils in. It's got around about 20, 20 something mils of socket there. And I just literally clamp it up. Okay. So that's the beginnings of a cable lug there. Now I'm going to hammer it to finish flattening it. And then I'm popping it back in the vise and I will run the belt sander over it just to give this a nicer edge. I'm only using the belt sander because um, I bought the sandpaper and it doesn't look like I'm going to use it on wood because it's too aggressive and because I don't have a grinder. Well I do, but I don't know where it is. So I end up with essentially a cable lug. Uh, I need to put a hole in it of course and then crimp it onto my cable. Which is here. Yeah. That's some big cable, eh? 95 millimeter squared. Uh, a little bit overkill, but um, and you should get a good deal on a short piece of it. I only need a short piece because it's just for um, really fr running from the battery to the bus bars. Through fuses and breakers of course. So I guess I, before I get too carried away making heaps of these I should check that they work so I will anneal these ones and uh, try crimping one onto a cable and see how it looks. So this annealing um, certainly makes it nice and clean which is good oh, except for the burn mark but um, gets a lot of the, the dirt and crap off of it but it actually makes um, quite a substantial difference to the crystalline structure of the copper um, as I mentioned making it much softer you can, I can actually feel that kind of bending when I took the squeeze it. So here's a piece that has not been annealed, so it's been work hardened by hammering it flat. And here's a, an identical piece that has since been annealed, and it's a lot softer. In fact, I might get Hope to uh, help demonstrate that. Bye. Can you help me with this? Appropriately. Eh? Are you dressed appropriately? No. Well, come here then. Show me, can you, can you show me if you can bend this? Hmm. What about the other piece? This has been annealed. Yes. That's kind of the difference there. It's so much softer that, of course, it won't stay soft. But you could almost tie that in a knot, whereas this piece is very difficult to bend. And that's why we're doing it. What that means is that uh, this pipe, no matter how brittle it may have been, is now soft and malleable. And when I crimp this onto um, my cable, the crimping will go a lot nicer. And uh, it also means drilling this hole will be a hell of a lot easier. This is beautiful cable. It's welding cable, so it's quite hard wearing, very, very flexible. 95 millimeters squared and about a zillion strands. So the plan here is to crimp 
this lug onto this cable like so. So I have my 95 crimping handles. There you go in there. And then this is a hydraulic crimper, so as I pump the handle, this little ram comes out there and presses these two anvils together. And that's the end result there. Um, it's clamped up tight. Uh, you can see it's actually clamped smaller than the original diameter of the cable, so it's now fully compressed. And uh, it looks pretty bloody good. I'm pretty happy with that. I do want to insulate that somehow, uh, not really sure how yet. Maybe I'll consider this one to be an earth cable and worry about that on my positive leads. But I don't have any shrink wrap that will fit it. So, thank you for watching. Um, battery lugs aren't necessarily the most exciting of topics, but it's kind of cool. Um, to me anyway that I've made this from a bit of scrap so you know I'm, I'm, I'm recycling I'm reusing my own stuff um, I'm, I'm reducing the amount of waste that I'm getting out of this bus um, from when I stripped it way back um, nearly two years ago now so it makes me feel pretty happy um, and, and it saves a lot of money I mean these things shit you can pay 10 bucks each for this sort of stuff especially once you get up into this sort of size there's some big money involved and, and these are proper copper these are not um, these are not junky brass or anything like that or um, aluminium so I do I do actually get a bit of a kick out of um, out of making them I mean look at these that came with the battery that how how would you compare those two? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, or uh, even if you didn't, what the hell, just like it. Uh, hit, hit all the buttons, and um, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Take care. Matewa.